What's up, YouTube? Gonna make a video. Gonna be pumping these videos out like crazy because I got a bunch of topics. Since I haven't made a video in five years. Um, but I thought I'd make a video on benzodiazepines strictly. Since it seems to be a topic of interest. And I've taken four of them. Um, being Xanax, Clonopin, Valium, and Ativan. I was prescribed Xanax. I am prescribed Clonopin now. And Valium and Ativan, I've found my ways to take them during the time in need. Let's put it like that. It was, in my mind, do or die, I needed them. So let's start with Xanax. Um, the first one I was ever prescribed when I had my first panic attack back in 2014. Um, Xanax is a good benzodiazepine benzo um, if you have panic attacks a lot you know two, three, four, five, six times a day you for sure need a, a Xanax they're fast acting they kind of get out of your system kind of quick um, so you are kind of constantly taking them but to kill a panic attack on the spot a, uh, a Xanax is great. It, it really does the job. If you're um, nervous about getting your hair cut, you know, I guess this kind of goes for all benzodiazepines. If you're nervous about getting your hair cut like I used to be, or driving the highway, you could take one a half an hour beforehand, 20 minutes beforehand, and it should soothe you. Um, I guess I should say, like, before going on the highway, take a Xanax. It will help calm you down and if it tends to get worse pull over and take one it will kill it on the spot it's fast acting it gets in there does the job it does fade away but it does kill the panic attack usually um i recommend xanax for the people who have panic attacks multiple times a week multiple times a day let's skip to the bottom of the barrel to me Ativan Ativan to me is like I, I said it it's like kind of say you break a finger Ativan is like the Motrin <laughs> you know it, it's gonna do something but it's not the, the cure all and it's good for maybe like a person that has you know a mild case of anxiety and like a little bit of panic here and there um, it definitely works, but it's not meant for someone, a severe sufferer. Um, I have taken it and it's one of those things where, you know, it depends on your tolerance level too. Um, your weight, your height, your metabolism, all that stuff. This, your tolerance. Um, for me, an Ativan just... For me, it's my tolerance is just high due to a lot of things. Um, it just didn't do the trick. Um, it may for you, but for me, that's more meant for the mild sufferer with a daily SSRI. You know, a low milligram SSRI and an Ativan may be awesome. Um, it does do something, but it's for the people that are medium moderate going into severe it's it's candy it, it does it's you'll eat them like nothing it's just it's you know like I said better nothing but you're better off with the other three um so moving on to Valium I find Valium to be somewhere in between like a cousin of a a Xanax and a Klonopin it, you, if you're having a panic attack, you can take it. It will help. <clears throat> um, it's also those one of those ones where you wake up and you take it daily. Um, like Xanax, you don't wake up and take it daily because it's fast acting. Um, Valium builds up in your system and it's almost like having a Xanax in you at all times. You're kind of in chill mode. Kind of the way a clonopin works. They build up in your system. They keep you in chill mode. Um, I would say in my experience. A, a Valium. 
during a painting attack will help better than a Klonopin. But a Valium should be taken daily, like in the morning, and then somewhere throughout the day. And it, with maybe possibly an SSRI, more than likely. And it, uh, it will help a ton. Um, the milligrams on that depends on what your doctor, psychiatrist want to prescribe. And, uh, how severe your anxiety is. Um, so honestly, I recommend Valium if you're someone who has panic attacks, you know, here and there, but deal with, deals with general anxiety all the time. It'll help keep you in a chill state. Um, the Clonopin, I've, I've been on this one the longest, um, I would say probably since like 2015, maybe. Something like that. Five years. Four years for sure. Um, that one to me... I have ticks. A mild case of Tourette's. Klonopin. I take it in the morning. I'm prescribed 90 a month. 5 milligrams. 0.5 milligrams. 3 a day. I take one in the morning. I kind of have that one in between in case something happens. Because it's not like a Xanax. It's not going to kill a panic attack on the spot. But it can help. You can use it that way. But it's not going to kill it dead. Like in the water like a Xanax will. Um, and then I. It's more like one I take in the morning. At night. And the other one's kind of this there just in case. And. Sometimes. I found myself at a point. Where sometimes. I don't even take one throughout the day. Because. I just didn't need it. You know, it's no big deal. And then I find days where I've had worse than others. And I've taken four. Maybe four and a half. At the end of the day, my pill bottles... You know, end of the month, I should say. <clears throat> is always empty. I always need my refill. And it's good. I'm not abusing it. I never... I'm not a zombie. I'm not groggy. To get my job done. You know, I do a good job. It's one of those ones where you take in the morning. It builds up in your system. And it's kind of like having... Xanax in you at all times, like a tapering Xanax. Like, it's not one that's in full effect. You, you took it, and it's in full effect, and it's got you calming down. Like, one that's kind of, like, just dying off. You know, the Clonopin mixed with an SSRI, you know, daily med, is good, too. I, I'm i obviously an advocate of benzos. I think they work. You know, <clears throat> I hate that it's hard to get them. For us true sufferers of anxiety and panic attacks and ticks. You know, it's it's a shame that drug addicts, you know, and I, and I feel for drug addicts. It's just it's a shame that they've abused them, sold them and lied and just that near thing. And it's hard to get them. Um, and there's ways to go about getting them with your doctor, like having good talks. And maybe I'll have videos on that or a video you know, you can't just go in there and ask for a benzo alone. They're going to think you're a drug addict. They're going to think you're nuts. They're going to be like, get out of here. you got to go in there with a good, solid game plan of knowing you need an SSRI. Knowing you possibly need a benzo. And tell them, like, SSRI is too much of it. Turn you into a zombie. Kills your sex drive. Your dick don't work. You know? And Z uh, Zanax. Uh, benzos alone... Xanax, Klonopin, Valium, Ativan are just to make you too groggy. Oh, in my car, there goes my lights. We're back in, we're, we're good to go. Um, they can just make you too groggy for taking too much of it to try to fill that gap for the SSRI that's not there, if that makes sense. They work as a team. I just made a video about that. They work as a team. I think they do a great job as a team. Um, to wrap this up at 10 minute mark i wanted to keep it short but touch on it xanax recommend it's for the person that's has panic attacks multiple times a day multiple times a week <clears throat> excuse me i don't know why my throat is voice is hoarse um multiple times a day multiple times a week multiple times a month xanax is meant for you panic attack wise generalized anxiety 
It's a clonopin or a Valium. You take them daily, and you can take them on the spot, but it's not going to work as good as Xanax, but it's still going to possibly bring a panic attack down. But your panic attacks are going to lessen. You're going to have less of them, if that makes sense, because you're taking them daily with the SSRI. And Ativan is meant for the more mild case. And that's okay. I mean, that's... That's okay. That's what they're made for. Ben, you know, benzodiazepines. What, why did they make these if they're not going to prescribe them to the people that deserve them, which is, which is us sufferers? You know, that's my biggest thing is like, when I get told like, oh, they won't prescribe that. Or I've been told that. I got, hell, I have a story. When I first got uh, prescribed Xanax way back in 2014. This is a true story, by the way. Um... I'll wrap it up with this. Um, I had this sports doctor, regular doctor, who was prescribing me, might have been Selexa at the time, and Xanax. But he was going to sports medicine. He's like, you need to see a psychiatrist since you're still having this problem. You know, a family doctor really don't prescribe benzos. See a psychiatrist. I go there. This lady refused. And I was telling her. I'm like, look, it helps. I'm not a drug addict. Drug test me. I don't, I don't care. I need it. It helps. I'll take your SSR I2, your daily med. And she she refused. I've seen her two or three times. And by the third time, after saying what I'm about to tell you, which is, I truly said it, swear to God. I said, and this was when my anxiety was at its worst. I told her that, <laughs> um, that when my anxiety gets so bad, that if if someone was to tell me go eat that piece of dog shit over there if there was dog shit over there it'll stop your anxiety and it was true i'd eat the dog shit i wasn't lying in the moment i swear to god that was totally true and i'm like this is what the xanax at the time or a benzo in general do sorry my fucking mic keeps shutting off <laughs> um they they kill it on the spot like i was willing to eat dog shit if it would have worked Obviously, it wasn't going to work. I'm not going to eat dog shit, but you get my point. I was that desperate to stop how I, how terrible the anxiety was. She thought I was nuts. I was like, all right, I'm done with you. Forget you. If you don't want to do that, you don't want to help me out, you know, on the next. The next person prescribed it. Guess what? My life became a lot better taking Clonopin. I think that's what I got switched to. He might have started me on Xanax, but I got switched to Clonopin. Either or, my life was way better with the benzo and I never abused it so again to wrap it up Xanax good for the person with the panic attacks constantly um Valium clonopins for the person with you know the mild to severe case it's the middle of the road you take it daily sometimes throughout the day you might need to take one and try to kill it on the spot which will work with the SSRA and the Ativans for the mild sufferer that's you know, has SSRI, but has those little pinch scenarios that just a benzo, a little pinch of it will help. Nothing wrong with that. Xanax, Valium, Klonopin, Ativan, Benzodiazepines. They're great if you don't abuse them with an SSRI usually. That's all I got to say. Because my light's about to shut off again. Oh, no, they put it back on. Um, it's going to be pumping out more videos. If you have anxiety, depression, panic attacks, tics disorder, any kind of disorder. I've been through a lot. Even alcoholism, which I'm going to touch on. Been through a lot. I got a lot to share. And, uh, that's what these videos are for. To try to help you guys. Since I've been through it, if I could tell you something through these videos, and on top of the fact I just enjoy making them, I can tell you something that helps you out makes my day because people reach out to me and ask me questions and people reach out to me and thank me and I can't believe that <clears throat> just regular guy it just has this stuff and I talk about it and people can relate and thank me for something I said it's it's awesome and I appreciate it and I really do hope something I say along the line helps somebody out there so that's my four benzos benzodiazepines in a nutshell. 
you guys have a good night obviously it's getting dark out i'm gonna try to have a good night depends on where you're at maybe a good day but uh hope your anxiety gets better you take it easy youtube